Hello everyone, Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching. This video is going to be about my concealed carry teaching box. So this makes me feel pretty old, but for I know for the last decade, I've been teaching concealed carry classes out of this box. I got this file box. Um, I don't, I don't know, man. I know it was more than ten years ago that I got this file box to hold all of the associated files and paperwork and stuff for teaching concealed carry classes. Uh, the inside of it, I have the instructor book with all my notes and stuff in it. Then I have some various uh, file hangers in here with some basic things like uh, multiple answer sheets, multiple uh, test A and test B questions, things like that. And then I'll keep an assortment of student books in here. That way I go to class, I got mostly enough books in here for all the students that will be in the class. And it's just kind of a, a self-contained unit. Uh, on the top, or on the interior of the um, box, I guess I'll have to rotate this and maybe show it a different way. Uh, I've got my instructor number up there, and my memory sucks, and then I have sort of a little cheat sheet on there for scoring of the tests. You know, if you miss um, these questions, you know, this is what the score is, etc. So I've got that on there. Um, of course, you know, well, it fell out because the top is broken, which is why I'm replacing it. Receipt book that I keep that I keep in there. Um, also, which I've taken some of this stuff out because this thing is broken, but uh, postage stamps I would keep in here as well. And then on the inside I have um, some envelopes with the address to Frankfurt already on them and um, postage already on there. That way I'll just take all the associated paperwork for the class, put it in the envelope, drop it in the box, and be done with it. I've had this box, like I said, for a while, and I had it sitting in the garage on top of some other boxes and it got knocked over. And when it got knocked over, this top piece completely broke um, back here where it hinges, it broke back there, and then up here where it would close. Well, it goes on there somehow. I don't, whichever way it went on there, <laughs> this piece broke off. So I wanted to replace the box. However, I did not want to lose you know, some of the stickers that I put on there, which I haven't put a whole lot of stickers on here, but I got some. And uh, I, I got this uh, business card pouch holder thing from NRA Show. And I just, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I could probably find another one, no problem. But, you know, kind of neat, but, you know, it's kind of glued on there if I lose it or take it off. It's obviously not going to go back on another one very well. So I didn't want to get rid of the box because of all, you know, of that stuff on there. But the lid is totally shot. So I went out and just bought another box right simple fix um and it's a i don't know if i'm pronouncing this right stary light it's just a file box and i found out that taking the lid off is pretty simple so i had these little tabs in each side and when, once you open it, you just squeeze these things and they would pop off out of here and then you'd be able to remove the lid. Well, what I noticed after figuring that out and I looked on my old box, I was missing one of those. So eventually, as luck would have it, as I would be carrying this thing, this thing could just slip open and spill all the contents out, <laughs> which would really suck. So got obviously you know the clips for it and I'll have one extra um, in case you know down the road one breaks or whatever so I'll just keep it in the box it's kind of like a little spare kit so to speak 
but I've got a brand new lid and I'm able to put it on an old box. I'll be losing, sort of, I'll be losing some stickers, but that's cool. I've got some other stickers I can put on this one. And I won't really be losing this because what I'm going to do with this old lid is put it on the new box. And I'll just put it in the home office. That way I'll have um, a box to put files in inside the home office. And I'm, I'm not going to be carrying this file box around and, you know, lugging around the different places. So I don't have to worry about the lid falling off at an inopportune time. And voila. So now I've got a brand new lid on old concealed carry teaching box. So now I can lug that thing around and not worry about um, dropping files. I'll throw that little spare retainer clip thing in here. A little, little spare kit. And I'll take the brand new box with the old lid. Put the old lid on there. And although the lid won't stay on there very sturdy, I don't have to worry about that because it's just going to stay in the home office or I could move it out to the garage for storage and still retain some paperwork in there and it'd be all good. I have another box that I will utilize to uh, teach concealed carry classes with. It's a large tote and inside that tote I have various uh, what I would call props. So like different holsters, um, different belts, um, some some uh, older flashlights in there. Just some just some things to kind of get students who are new into this thinking about things. Um, and I'll show that and another video but this is the concealed carry teaching box and the replacement of the broken lid if you like what you see in here go ahead and give me a like and a share if you have not already hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos earl henderson primordial defense thank you for watching